going on? It's your boy E. Jones. Bottom to the top hoops. My man, the Black Elvis. What's up, E? What's up? We'll be back at it one more back game. Back at it. Back at it. Yes, sir, man. Time to definitely shout out those sponsors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to do that. Mm hmm. Got to pay the bills. Got to pay the bills. Yes, sir. So, this segment of the show is brought to you by 109 Embroidery for all your needs for embroiders, hats, jackets, t shirts. Definitely the good 109 embroidery work right there. Good, good work. Go see my man Diallo, 107th Street, 3rd Avenue. They do great work. Big shout out to them. This one's on you, big fella. Ah, got a shout out Universal Republic. Shout out to my man Big D, the weatherman up there, the Sean Straws. They definitely holding it down. Yes, sir, man. Mm -hmm. Definitely much love to them. Want to uh, extend our, our, our much gratitude and, and thanks for y'all supporting the bottom to the top movement. Uh, Hold up. What's up, man? Big shout out to City Legends, man. Yes, sir. One of my sponsors, man. E. Jones, yeah. Jerry Ice holding it down, doing big things, big tournaments. Yes, sir. Catch one, you, it's already working, baby. They working. That's it, man. Definitely. CL's in the building. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, Want to give a big shout out to the sponsor for this segment of the show. Okay. The Parkchester Boys and Girls Club. Shout out to them, man. Doing great things. Uh, teen Center. Northeast section of the Bronx, mm. servicing kids from the age of 13 to 19. That's awesome. Uh, been around for probably the past 10 years. Okay. Uh, Hidden gem there in the Bronx, man, doing great work. So thank you to them for their support of the show. Definitely. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Thank you, man. We appreciate that. Yes. Man, we here bottom to the top hoops. I'm about to ruffle some feathers. It's your boy <laughs> E. Jones with the Black Elvis. In the building. In the building, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, man. Let me, let, no cap. I'm going to just preface this whole segment by saying this is what the people said. That's it. I'm just conveying what the common mm -hmm. folks are saying about this landscape at AU basketball. Uh -huh. And I'm the messenger. That's it. Don't kill the messenger. That's it. I see two different parents come to him and say, you need a platform to really go into detail. We here. Yo, so this segment, man, we're talking about New York City basketball, as we always do. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to that, man. We repped that. We played that. We coached yes, that. Definitely, definitely. So uh, we're talking about the top five AAU programs in New York City. No particular order. No, no, we ain't going to do the order yet. Not yet. But we are going to name the top five from okay. the consensus and the surveys that we've done. Okay. All the information that we've gathered. Um, if you get left off the list, man, we're sorry to hear. Don't take it personal. So at so number five, <laughs> at number five, we're going with New Heights. We're going to go with New Heights, number five. We're going New Heights, number five, man. Oh, come on, wait. Let's, let's, let's give a little history on them as far as you know, because see, E is in that loop. Well, listen, man. I know that they, they, they started off as the Warriors. Mm. Um, and um, Guy who's over at, at um, Under Armour right now, uh, Nick Blatchford, okay. uh, Jessica Villaplana did a great job with, with, with founding and there's some other great people mm. that, that my man Ron uh, originally started that New Heights movement, man. Mm. They, were, they, were, they were in the Heights mm. at the time and, and, and they, had a, they had a vision. And um, mm. the 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 one thing that was unique about it was that they they wanted to add that educational component. Gotcha. Uh, they thought that that was really important, and they they had local kids. And, yeah. And well, I mean, at the end of the day, what I loved is when I think of New Heights, I think of Isaiah Washington, Sid. Those are the newer kids, y'all. Ty yeah. Jerome. I remember when Ty, Ty Jerome was down. Shout out to Ty Jerome, who's now what? Phoenix Sun. Phoenix, Phoenix Sun. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. So, I mean, New Heights is, they can say no, they produce they, a pro. They, 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 they produced a few pros, man. And, wow. And, 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 you know, they've had some really good players and a lot of great success. And mm. we know that they've garnered the Under Armour sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So, that's a big deal now mm -hmm. in, in, in our platform mm -hmm. of kids wanting to be on a circuit. Yeah, definitely. Because they feel like, whether it's true or not true, um, the circuit is going to be able to produce the most exposure. Exactly, yes. Now, I can say with, with uh, pretty good certainty that in most cases that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's some cases where programs do a good job of getting kids exposure without being on the circuit. That is true. Uh, that is like, true. The Kids, mm -hmm. like, like the WizKids. Like the Dragons. Dragons right? Mm -hmm. so, so there's programs out there doing a good job. So 
Definitely, man. The circuit is great, but there's some programs doing a good job mm -hmm. and not necessarily circuit teams. So that's uh, the one of the five. New yes. Nights. Yes. Number four. I think I'd say Wrens. The Wrens, man. So there's a unique story about the Wrens. Uh, New York Renaissance was started. Uh, not sure how many years back, mm, okay. but on the, in, the, in, the, in its origin. I was going to say, you gave that history, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, my man, um, my man Billy. Okay. Uh, my man, Final Four Bill. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, mm. Bill, Shout Bill. Shout out to the Final Four. Yeah, man. So, so, so Billy and um, Lawrence Pollard, who, who coaches at Jefferson, mm. uh, they were, they was in, in the origin of, of starting that joint, man. And, wow. You know, the, the film producer who actually his son started out playing with the Dragons. Wow. Yeah, man, he, he produced the, the, the Reggie Miller uh, documentary. Okay, okay. So uh, they started off as a, as, a, as a youth team and they didn't have all of the age groups and mm. then it, it just came up and then they got a couple kids and then mm. those younger kids and Cole Anthony was a part of those 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 beginning stages. Oh wow! That's so they awesome. played in the City Legends events and they oh, supported wow. us and we supported them. And I remember when the Rens came on the scene and mm. you know they've taken it to a, a different level. And Andy Borman, who who kind of is, is is running the show over there, doing a good job. And, okay. You know I think it, it really ascended to the next level when they got the Nike sponsorship. Mm, got you, got you. So they became an EYBL team and I, and I obviously you know a lot of kids move around, mm. but. I think in the last couple of years as an EYBL team, mm -hmm. uh, they've been able to kind of establish themselves as mm -hmm. one of the preeminent teams in New York City. Gotcha. So, mm -hmm. so definitely uh, the Rens. Shout out to the Rens. Number three. Number three, I'm going to leave that on you. Back at you. You know what? New York Lightning. Lightning. Shout out to David Daniel Shan, dude. Yeah, man. You know, good dudes, man. You know what, man? Uh, something people don't know about the Lightning. Uh, they've been doing this for a really long time. Mm. And they have uh, been able to have sustained success. Mm. And I believe, don't quote me on this, last year they had the most Division One players playing wow. in, in the NCAA of any program in the city. Mm, I could believe it. So, you know, they're, they're, they're producing high-level talent, uh, went to Peach Jam the last two out of three years. Mm -hmm. uh, some kids, I know one notable is Angel Delgado mm. playing in the NBA. Yes. Um, so, producing high-level kids, you know, obviously uh, doing a great job at EYBL. Yes. Uh, some, they some, still got the deal. They that still says, got the that deal. That says everything. Or was, and and they've, they've been with Reebok, mm -hmm. uh, they've been with other companies, but they've been with Nike for a while, so uh, mm -hmm. definitely YBL. So I'm going to leave number four on you. I think this one's an obvious one. PSA Cardinals. Yeah, man. Shout out to PSA Cardinals, Munch, Jason Ford, doing great things over there, man. So the name is Pro Scholar Athlete. Wow. So... Let's put the emphasis on the P. Mm, pro. They, wow. They, they, they produce some pros. They produce some pros over there. I remember when they were scared yeah. working out of Malali's. Yeah, man. And they, they, they've transcended the culture, you know. And, and Munch, admittedly, will we'll talk about how he's unafraid to do things unconventional. Absolutely. Uh, Love him for that. Love he, him for that. So uh, he gets after it. Um, taking kids' cell phones on the road, like he spoke about. Uh, Who's doing show. that? Right? People ain't got the balls to do that. Kids be like, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, but guess what, man? They're doing it, and it's producing a result. No, definitely. Uh, what I what I, I particularly like was, that, you know, he spoke about being able to defend. Yeah. And he said he takes his hat on that. So start talking about defense. You got me a hello. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna take number five. Yes, you got to. Now look. You play with Riverside, mm -hmm. I play with the Gauchos. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they did not make this list. No, they didn't. Well, Thurm, shout out to Thurm, they're on the come up. Watch out for Riverside, I see what you're doing over there. But they didn't make the list. They'll make the next list. 
Dermot is a great Honorable coach. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. There you go. They right there. Next Roman, year, the Wiz Kids, the Dragons. Exactly. The Gaucho. The Gauchos. Who else? You, so, so, you just gave it away. New York Jayhawks number five. <laughs> Hey man, shout out to your boy Jay David. We yo, just did that good interview. Yo, Great interview, man, by the way. Yo, man. New York Jayhawks. Um, you know, he talked about the linchpin, uh, Hamidou Diallo, uh, Dita Circuit team, was with Under Armour for one year. You know, kind of came out of nowhere, man. Hit the circuit, did really and, well. And, and hit the ground running, and, and, mm -hmm. and judging by what's happening, they ain't going nowhere. Nah, nah. Because because they understand business. I was gonna say that. And and also, you know, the business of basketball. Yes. Which is two different things. Two different things. And then it seems like, and you know, I'm just judging by the results. Mm -hmm. They're developing and, and and recruiting and coaching basketball well as, as well. Because. Mm -hmm. You, you get talent, you still got to coach them up, you got to create chemistry, it's a short window to do that. Yes, definitely. Hopefully you keep kids together, which is a challenge to do that as well. That's a challenge within itself. So, for all of these programs who are in our top five, shout out to you yes. for being able to hustle and go get kids, mm -hmm. keep kids together, deal with the parents, deal with the sneaker sponsorship, deal with the high school coaches, deal with the ego. Man, people don't know how much stuff goes into Yes. You know, running these programs. Yes, definitely, definitely. And 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 a lot of the times, guys' livelihoods depend on the decisions of. Yeah. You know. And the play. Impressionable, yeah. Yeah. seventeen and sixteen year old kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they pulling their hair out. Yeah, definitely. So They're stressing. Yeah. So, what you think about the list, man? Uh, I love the list. Um, like I said, I mean, one team I like to really highlight is PSA. Like, okay. I remember them when, like I said, they were at Malali's, and I seen it for myself. I seen Shavar Newkirk. It was Shavar. Terry it Larry. was Terry Larry. It was Chris McCullough. It was I Shep Diallo. I, like, I, I remember they said they went on a roll with six kids. Come on. Shavar said that in an interview on our show. He said, get a ball of arm, run the lane. But he had four pros with him. Yeah. PSA. Yeah. <laughs> So shout out to y'all though, man. Yo, man, man. Doing great things. Proud of y'all. We had a lot of guys on the show mm -hmm. that have uh, played AAU basketball and spoke about the AAU experience. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I wanted to highlight was, you know, we obviously the Gauchos didn't make the list, you know, according to the people, and and, and I know the Gauchos have and Riverside has some. Oh, shout out to um, Elio's son. What's his name? Oh yeah, Malachi I see him Smith. play. He's a killer. I, listen. Oh man, I'm, I'm on record. PSA or like I'm going to snatch him up. Hey, listen, we ain't got we gotta stay out of that. We gotta stay out of that. Look, I'm going on record. Malachi Smith will be one of the top five players, and I said this to everybody who's mm -hmm. at St. Raymond's in the history of St. Raymond's basketball. He will eclipse in three years 1,000 points, mm. 400 assists. Mm. 400 rebounds, mm. 200 steals. Wow. And I'm going to say you're going to get him a city chip. Wow, that's big. And why is that important? Yeah. Because the last coaches at St. Raymond's, Gary Caesar, City and State. Oliver Antigua, three city championships. My man, George Lopez, hasn't won a city yet. He's been there about seven or eight years. Mm. Malachi Smith's going to be the one to get it. Bring it Wait, they didn't get one with Isaiah? No. Wow. But they got one. He got Mr. Basketball. Mr. Bat. That's I know. Yo, it was something. Isaiah Washington. Listen, brother. I believe in you. You're a St. Ray's kid. Focus on the hoops. You New York City, Mr. Basketball. You carrying the torch, man. This is the bounce back year. Hopefully, you get that wave out of Iona, and people get to see the real you playing basketball. Yeah. I know yeah. you got a tremendous following. Your business career. It's off the chains, what you have ahead of you. Jelly fam. But, but, but the basketball is what's going to create sustainable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Credibility. No doubt. And long-term success. Because mm, mm. he's a celebrity here locally, man. Yeah, definitely. And, and he always knows when I see him, 
You know, I always got a positive word for him. You know what I mean? Sometimes he probably don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you on camera, I believe in your talent, man. Mm. And uh, I think I think you can get a chance to rewrite this story. Wow, that's awesome. Man, it's Bronx. It's basketball, man. What happened to the kid Juju? He's not at Cardinal Hayes no more? Well, Juju decided that he wanted to take his talents to Connecticut. Ow! Is that Putnam Science? Oh! Shout out to Scoochie, yeah. my nephew went to Putnam. Yeah, man, Tom Espinosa does a great job at mm. Putnam. Uh, they got, they got, whoo, they got a, mm. a talent, man. Stay tuned for that, that Putnam Science versus OSL game brought to you by City Legends. From the bottom to the top will be in the building. Yo, it's going to be a doubleheader that night. Oh, gosh. The place... In the in, in the time, nothing's been announced. Oh, so it's exclusive. So when it it's gonna be a movie, bro. <laughs> Listen, man. Hold up, can, can can we talk a little bit about OSL? I I, I, need, I need to highlight what, what, what you're really doing over there. UP, they are doing UP because he loves doing that. UP <laughs> and all the other great men Yo. that's really working behind the scenes. Let, let me just do the same say thing. I'm alumni. Okay. And I and I help out as much as I can. Okay. With the program. Mm -hmm. Um. I just want to be clear that Peter Way is wearing thirty five hats. Mm, shout out to him, man. God bless. And him. Charles Jones. Charles Killer. Uh, is 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 developing killers like Charles Jones. He was is, a killer. <laughs> let me tell you something. You talk about development, man. Yeah. Yeah. You look at the kids at OSL, just, I'm going to just name two. Because okay. Posh Alexander came in a killer. He got better. He's going to St. John's. Shout out to him. Mm, shout out to him, man. But let me just say this. Jared Roden mm. came in to, I'll say the Lutheran, and he'll probably say this, a very talented, low to mid-major player. Mm. He developed his body, his game, and more than Importantly, his mentality is a killer mm. at OSL, and I'm pretty sure when we get Jared on the show, he'll say that. Mm. And he went to Seton Hall, man, and, and, and they said this summer he looked like one of the best players wow. in the gym. That's awesome. Living for big year. That's awesome for him. Second story about OSL: Dylan Wusu mm. came in, transferred from Sacred Heart, had no Division One offers. Mm. So that means. We knew he was a scholarship level play, player as soon as he came in, Bryant College offer, but he committed to St. John's. Mm. So that means, let's say he was a division, he skipped two levels in one year. In one year, one summer. And there was a lot was, of people. Was the EYBL? Because you know that changed your life. <laughs> let's not talk about Rams TV. Mmm, forgot the about Sean Davis. Rams. Mmm. Like, mm. I'm not saying. That it's a it's a it's a formula, but it's a formula. It's a formula. Believe so that because everybody mm. can't take a kid and develop them and turn them into something. Yeah. So yeah. big shout out to what they're doing at OSL. Absolutely. No, what, what you guys are doing at OSL. Hey man, I I take my small. Come on, and come on, take your little piece and I'm gonna take my little piece, <laughs> man. I'm just helping. I'm just helping, man. Selfless, man. That's why I love this brother. Selfless. Yo, man. listen. I want to also highlight somebody else, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody that probably doesn't get a lot of credit that people don't know about. Mm. Man, I got a chance to go and, and watch some, some basketball today. Mm -hmm. Ron Declario wow. over Cardoza High School. Wow. Year in and year out is the class of Queens. Mm. And all he does is just wear no belt yeah. and old t shirts. <laughs> and he doesn't. Now, McLaren was a great baseball player. We're going to have him on the show, too. Mm -hmm. he, was a, he was an All-American at St. John's at baseball. Wow, I didn't know that. Got drafted by the White Sox. Wow. And he's the most winningest coach in New York City basketball history. He's wow. eclipsed over 800 wins. Mm. So he's passed the dude from Malloy? You know what? You know what? I, I, I take that back. I got to check my... The most winning is coach from TSA up. Yeah. Yes. Definitely public. We gotta check that credit on Jack Curran and Jack Ronda Curry. Curry. Yeah. That's a man, two and they both came out of Queens. What's up with y'all Bronx doing? Billy, Billy Turnage, man, you gotta coach another 20 years, man, and be the all-time winner in this PSAL coach mm. in the history. 
Mm. I don't know if anybody could stay around a CHSAA like that nah. and have that kind of sustain. That's what Tom Kachowski talked about. And remember, he talked, he went into detail about that. How coaches stayed there 20 years, 30 years. He named them. Building programs, building great men. Yeah, I think the last of a dying breed was Gary DeCesar, man. He was there mm. for a long time. Mm. He literally, I can't say he built St. Ray's, mm -hmm. but he built St. It's like, gotcha. sorry, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, he did it. No, for real. Because St. Ray's was already a good program, but it wasn't nationally recognized. No. Recognized like mm -hmm. it, is. it wasn't yeah. sponsored. Mm -hmm. Not that it was a bunch of teams that had that. Yeah. Back in the day, I got one for you. Mm -hmm. You were St. Nicholas of Talentine product. No question. Remember when they had spot bills? Wow. The sneakers. The royal blue joints. I remember those. They had the yellow sweatsuit and the royal blue spot. I remember those. Belts. Yo. <laughs> they were they was changing the game, man, back then. John Sarandria, man, big mm -hmm. shout out to him. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it, it's so much history and stories about the city's basketball. Definitely. But listen, this is what we're gonna do. Yes. I make a pledge that our city kids. AAU guys, high school coaches, mm -hmm. let's stick to the basketball. Let's make it about the product. The content is great. You know I'm gonna promote you, you can promote yourself. That's right. But let's 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 get to the basketball, man. Let's let's let these kids go out there and shake out and, and, and let them get their recognition for what they do and not what we can edit. Yes, definitely. Because exactly. we're gonna do the editing. Gotta do it. Right? And I get it. There's a balance between what you gotta promote and where the game is. And I just feel like maybe the pendulum swung a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? And, mm. and we're media, so I gotta, mm. you know, hold us accountable. Absolutely. For, for what we put out there and, and how we disseminate our information because, you know, we wanna be responsible conveyors of information. No question. So. It's very important. We take the pledge. Yes, sir. We take the pledge. We're going to do it the right way, man. Yes. And we're we going to definitely cover. Like now. Exactly. We got a lot of friends that, that, that cover AAU and, and high school programs. Mm -hmm. But we want to give truth. That's the key. Listen. Great quote from a good friend of mine at Missouri State. Mm. He said he tells their kids, Do you want me to save you? Mm. Or do you want me, what was the word he used? Let you die. Yeah, yeah that was, it, it was along those lines, man. Mm -hmm. it, it was like, it was so profound when he said it. He was like, do you, basically, do you want me to bury you? Yeah. So when, when he, and I'm going to think of it before the segment's over. Yeah. But they're asking that, their kids that because if you want me to save you, mm -hmm. I got to give you the truth and the information yes, definitely. about what you did wrong. Absolutely. And you got to be able to receive that. To receive it. And then if you want me to bury you, then I'll just let you go. Yeah. Because they say when a coach stops yelling, then you should be worried. That's when he, he gave up on you. Because he feels like, you know what, I can't get through to this kid. I got to move on to somebody who I can actually coach. Yes. Yes. And, 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 it's, and it's very, it's very telling, man, that they, 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 they make their kids take that pledge mm -hmm. at the beginning of the practice. That's crazy, right? Because every time you come back with, but coach, no, nah, man, they're jerking me. I'm, what you want me to do? Hold on. Yeah. You said. You said. You wanted me to save you. Mm -hmm. 